Hey guys, how's it going? This is Watch from the MW Technology Channel on YouTube, and today we're taking a look at the Flycam Nano DSLR Edition. Uh, this is a Steadicam system designed for DSLR camera bodies. You can also use it for like small to medium size camcorders. It's made in India, and uh, we'll take a look at some of the benefits and features of this type of stabilizing system and see if this thing is right for you. So there are a lot of things that we can discuss about when looking into any kind of stabilizing rigs or Steadicam system. Systems. Uh, this particular one from from the Flycam series uh, comes from India. It's manufactured in India. A lot of the retailers are not really available. The most common place that you can get uh, these these Steadicam systems is on eBay. We purchase it on eBay, and you can pretty much get it for under two hundred dollars uh, ship. All the the actual materials themselves they're mostly made out of metal and semi high quality plastic. The nice thing with this, it does come with uh, its own base plate for a camera system. So if you don't have an extra base plate or if you don't want to spend an extra $200 to get a high quality Manfrotto base plate, the nice thing is this comes with one and you can use it straight off the bat. Although when you are doing more professional stuff, this base plate isn't that great, but it's great for starting out. It's fantastic that they include it. The other thing too is you have to be aware that there are other systems out there. They cost a lot more than, than this particular product, uh, but what you gain from those systems is basically a little bit more ease of use uh, when balancing the product. This system is very similar to the Glidecam HD uh, Steadicam products that you can get. Uh, one of the biggest differences is that the Flycam um, this particular fly cam and all the other fly cams, uh, they're a little bit more variable in terms of balancing. So you really have to put in a lot of more time and effort to get the balance perfect. And if you can even get the balance completely 100% perfect, uh, it's all up to you in terms of how much time and effort you want to put into practicing flying with this kind of thing. So uh, really, it'll be a question of, do you want to save the money and put in the effort to making sure that you've balanced it correctly and spending the weeks upon weeks and trial and error just to get it fine? Uh, still to this date, I haven't fine-tuned this product and we've had it for now a couple of weeks, but it takes time and we'll get there. Uh, but it's also practice, practice, practice. Uh, when you look at my example footage, you'll notice that it's not 100% flat, and mainly because it is fairly well balanced, but it's just our user error, uh, where we're not that smooth in terms of walking, and our, our pans and, and things like that are not fully controlled. There are several techniques out there that you can employ, but uh, you really have to use the product to get it perfect. One of the biggest problems of the system is that the rotating knobs on the stage themselves to fine tune uh, your positioning of the camera to get the center point equal to, to the bottom um, is very, very poorly constructed. It's made out of plastic. It's not that uh, high quality of plastic and there's no real references where you can make marks for, for adjusting your, your measurements if you have different lenses or if you're shifting cameras for whatever reason. When you buy a higher end steady cam, one of the things that you'll notice is definitely that the stage adjustments are a lot more precise. They're, the build quality is a lot better and uh, there's, there's just less of variability in terms of how to balance this thing. The design of the product is really nice. It looks great. Uh, it's uh, very comparable to the higher end steady cam systems out there. But one of the nice things is at the bottom of the handle there is a hole where you can attach a arm brace or uh, perhaps a steady cam vest uh, to help you if you're uh, flying this thing for long periods of time. Another big problem of this system is the handle itself. Now the core structure of the handle is made out of metal so it's fairly solid but the grip part is made out of this really cheap foam that's not really attached to uh, the, the actual handle itself. And it definitely doesn't give you the support that you need and the grip that you need to operate this thing properly. But one thing, of course, you can do is, is opt for a better handle, uh, modify it yourself, uh, put in a, a new grip or something like that, and uh, th that problem should be fixed. So that's really it. If you're looking for any kind of steady cam system or any kind of stabilizing system uh, that is semi-professional and, and is decently built, I really think you should take a look at the Flycam system. Uh, you can get these on eBay for under the $200 and for that price range I don't think there's a lot of competition, um, especially when you start shopping around. So if you have any questions about this product let me know and uh, we'll see you later. Take care. Thanks for watching.